Good morning and welcome to another inch and run from Rosendale, Wisconsin, the home of the Winnebago RC Flyers. And today is November 25th, if I recall correctly, and it is cold. I mean, it's pretty cold. It's like 29 degrees. There's not a huge wind, but there's enough that you can feel it. And I've got this beautiful OS25 FSR engine out here for the second run since I've owned it. It's not a new engine, it's a used engine, but it's a low time engine. So this will only be the second time I've run it. Today I've got an APC 86 prop on it. I've got an OS number eight glow plug and some 5% fuel. And I've also got lighter fluid because I just ran another engine, a four stroke engine, and it needed a lot of this to get started. But that's a four stroke engine. I have a feeling this thing might get started a little bit easier. Hopefully, but we're going to find out. I also brought a handheld thermometer um, that I use to check uh, my fish tank's water temperature. So I'm going to take a reading on the side of the engine before um, I start it up to show what the temperature of the engine is, and that way we can compare to how much lighter fuel fluid it takes to actually fire this engine up. So let's do that. Okay, so. Uh, let's just take a reading of the grass first. The grass temperature is 34 degrees Fahrenheit. The side of this engine is 34 degrees Fahrenheit also. The head, 34 degrees. So everything here is basically 34 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So let's open up my throttle. See if I can open up my lighter fluid here with these gloves on. And I'm going to be pretty liberal here. That's pretty liberal. Now I'm going to inject some fuel in there. And I'm expecting this thing to fire up fairly quickly. This engine I don't believe is fully broken in so it got a little irritated when I went to lean it out too much let's just see real quick here before it cools off too much 88 degrees Fahrenheit is what that engine is saying its temperature is now let's see if it'll fire back up quickly before it gets too cold it was getting a little irritated because I leaned it out too much more of this or is it still pissed? I don't know.
see it's, I think it's getting a little overheated there. Possibly, I mean, otherwise I don't know why it would just be shutting down like that when it gets too high of RPM. It seems like it's just getting over hot or it's not broke in. <laughs> good run this engine runs really well I can't really feel anything <laughs> maybe I can feel a little bit of warmth through there but my hands are still frozen and I've got rubber gloves latex gloves or nitro gloves underneath these just to add an extra layer and it doesn't matter and <laughs> my fingers are frozen but it seemed like hang on I like that hanging there it seemed like this engine also Maybe it wasn't overheating and it was getting upset. It was just cold still. I, I don't know. It looks like I've got... I don't know what the status of this engine is. It looks like it's a fairly low time engine. But now I'm seeing some in play. Which I don't recall seeing before. And some residue coming out from the front housing. Maybe I'm blowing the engine up. I don't know. All I know is it was running really nice. And it was turning a really high RPM. I think it was around 1440 I saw with this 8.6 prop. But I don't recall seeing this in play before, but maybe I just didn't notice it. Maybe this engine is going to require a look inside after this and see what's going on in there. Did I look inside it before? I don't think I did. But it's a nice engine. I mean, it was running really well. I don't recall seeing this before. But anyway, it didn't take as much lighter fluid to start this as it did my four stroke, but it did take some. And that's about all I can say right now because I need to get in there and warm up and drink some hot tea. 
So, hope you enjoyed watching.